Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the third video in the month of February. We have one more next Friday. So let's get into the video. Now, this is the Xbox Adaptive Controller video. So what is this Xbox Adaptive Controller? Controller. Well, it's a controller that has two buttons on the front, a D-pad, and some other functions that we will get into. So, who is this controller in the world? Well, at the end of people with disabilities, but not only people with disabilities, it could be with injuries, hormonal issues, all types of things. That's why I love this controller and it's amazing. So there's two buttons on the top and those can be customized at any button on the normal Xbox controller in the settings. There's also a D-pad which has up, down, left and right and there's also some function buttons on the top. So how do you park it or the buttons you need for a video game? So first let's talk about the switches. There's three types of switches I own right now. So let's show you. This the one which is the big button easy to press. There's this one which is super easy to press. And there's this pedal that I like to use for racing games. So I already have these switches, but Michael, what a good voice for you to buy them. I would say avonainc.com They have a boatload of switches from a single switch to a sip and puff switch and what I love about these switches is many people have unique injuries and disabilities these can literally be mounted anywhere to your ear nose your hands your feet your knees anywhere and they have a ball with loads of switches so check them out it will be linked down below so where do these Switches go. Well, there's a 19.3.5 millimeter jack on the back, which this is, and you can work it anywhere in there. There's a, like a whole lot of buttons you could design them to, like X, Y. B. And there's also two USB ports on either side, which can be used for joystick, which we'll get into in a minute. So how about we show you how this works and play a video game so you can see it in action. So let's go. That's about the adaptive controller here. As you can see in my lap, I have a 
joystick and I have four switches down here. I have two paddles which in the racing game are gas and brake and the other two but the buttons are reverse and switch camera. So I'll show you how I drive now. I mainly play the game in the fourth beat heat, but I can play other games like Fortnite and Rocket League if I had more switches, but as you can imagine, it would be pretty messy. And we don't judge my driver because I am a not driver with a joystick and that's pretty hard, but let's it go. So this is a glass, as you can see, I'm on the right track. But if I want to break, I press this. And, and this is reverse. So, and, and, good, go back and keep going. And that just a brief demonstration of me playing. As you can see, this device is really versatile if someone can use their hands they can use their feet and modify it any which way they want they can mount these buttons at your head and at your knee so as you can move your hands your feet any which that what it's really versatile. Back to the video. Thank you for watching, guys. As you can see, I really like filming this because this controller is really fun to use. And as you saw, I love this controller because it's so versatile in what it could do with any person whether it be a disability condition or any other condition. Remember guys that we have one more video in the month of February so if you haven't yet hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. I'll see you next Friday. Peace.